right, it is six o'clock. We'll call the 24th regular Common Council meeting to order. Will the clerk please state the quote of the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Thank you. Will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Salazar? Here. Alderperson Walton? Here. Alderperson Feldy? Here. Alderperson Ackley? Excused? Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Perella? Here. Alderperson Laster? Here. Alderperson Savaglio? Present. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Here. Alderperson Mitchell? Here. There are nine present. All right. For those in attendance, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Jump into number three on the agenda. Approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alder Feldy. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Minutes are approved. Number four, anyone for public forum today? No one this evening. Next is Mayor Appointments, City Attorney. Thank you. Uh, the Mayor hereby submits the following appointment for your consideration. Libby Olbrands to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee to fill a vacancy with a term expiring on April 18, 2022. And that will lay over. Next, uh, City Attorney. Uh, there is one uh, resignation. Uh, Jeannie Bogardis has resigned from the Senior Activity Center Commission effective immediately. Um, Alder Feldy. I move to receive and file. Second. There's been a motion and second to receive and file a resignation. All those in favor of receiving and filing the resignation, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That is approved. Next, City Attorney. This is a confirmation of a mayoral appointment. The mayor has submitted the following appointment for your consideration to the Senior Activity Center Commission, Karen Kober, for a term to expire April 15, 2024. And that will be a roll call vote. Uh, Alder Feldy. I move to confirm. Second. Motion and second. Roll call vote. Please refer to your Muni code. All right, that is approved. All right, next we have a few hearings today, um, four of them. So we'll opening up the hearing for item 132122, pursuant to notice published and personal notices sent by the finance director. There's a hearing scheduled for this evening to confirm the exercise of police power in making assessments for those benefited properties, which assessments are proposed for public assessment district one. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Final call, anyone wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Alder Feldy. I move to close the hearing. Second. There's been a motion second to close the hearing. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of closing the hearing, please state aye. 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 Any objection? The hearing is closed. Next is item 10, another hearing, number 142122, pursuant to notice published and personal, personal notices sent by the finance director. There's a hearing scheduled for this evening to confirm the exercise police powers in making assessments for those benefited properties against which assessments are proposed for parking assessment district two. Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Final call, anyone wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Alder Feldy. I move to close the hearing. Second. Motion and second, any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of closing the hearing, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That hearing is closed. 
Number 11, hearing number 15, 21, 22, pursuant to a notice published in personal notices sent by the finance director, there is a hearing scheduled for this evening for confirming the exercise of police powers and making assessments to those benefited properties against which assessments are proposed for parking assessment district four. Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Final call, anyone wishing to be heard? Alder Feldy. I move to close the hearing. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor of closing the hearing, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That is approved. Number 12, hearing number 16, 21, 22, pursuant to notice published and personal notices sent by the finance director. There is a hearing scheduled for this evening for confirming the exercise of police powers and making assessments for those benefited properties against which assessments are proposed for parking assessment district five. Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Final call. Anyone wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Alder Feldy. I move to close the hearing. Second. There's been a motion second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? That is approved. All right, next is the consent agenda, 14 through 35. Alder Feldy. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Is there a second? Second. Motion second. Any discussion on any items in the consent agenda? <coughs> Alder Flicky Paneski? Um, item number 18, 18. which is um, the contracts for sidewalks. There, there were 176 pages of contract, contract, and there was not a space or not a page that talked about um, how the sidewalks are chosen, what the criteria is. Now, my assumption is that Public Works knows about this. Is that a correct assumption, and is there a procedure and a protocol for it? The city engineer? Yes, well, the procedure is most of that money gets spent just on complaints that we receive throughout the, throughout the course of the year, like from fall all the way through winter. So, well, I said, yeah, most of the funding is just on just on fixing the complaints we get from the public for for sidewalks. So, for example, if I have a constituent that has an issue with a sidewalk, I refer them to your department, and they go on a list. Yes, they do. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Alder Flicky Paneski. Any other discussion on the consent agenda? <laughs> Alder Flicky Paneski, is that another one? Yes. All right. Actually, I just want to comment number 20, which is the Mayor's Youth Council, and number 21, which is the Sustainable Task Force. And I am very delighted to see those back on the agenda and moving forward. Thank, thank you. Thank you for those comments. Additional uh, comments regarding the consent agenda? Alder Walton. Yeah, it's uh, for the consent agenda number 14. I remember this coming up in a previous meeting or a previous council meeting. Uh, what's different that we're doing this time compared to the last time this came up? City attorney. So this isn't exactly the same thing. In this particular case, Mr. Gillette uh, filed a notice of claim against the city. Uh, this is a little bit different than his previous filings, which uh, went to the Police and Fire Commission, which were complaints uh, to the Police and Fire Commission. Those uh, matters before the Police and Fire Commission were heard. Uh, his uh, complaints against the officers uh, were dismissed. He then filed a claim against the city alleging that we should pay him certain amounts of money because he didn't like the result, uh, and that claim has now been denied. Additional, any other comments on the consent agenda? All right, seeing none, there's been a motion in a second. This is a roll call vote. Please refer to your Muni code. I 
and ayes. All right, that item is approved. Next is report of officers, item 36, RO number 1342122 by the City Plan Commission. To whom was referred general ordinance number 392122 by Alder Person Perella and RO number 1282122 by the City Clerk, granting Harbor Cafe LLC and its successors and assigns the privilege of encroaching upon described portions of 3040 3042 South Pier Drive in the city of Sheboygan for the purposes of adding an outside seating deck. Wishes to report that this matter was discussed at a regular plan commission meeting on March 15th, 2022. Alder Perella. Uh, I move to file the RO and adopt the general ordinance. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion on this item? Alder Savalio. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm just so excited to see a new restaurant coming to the South Pier District. Uh, I look forward to dining there on a regular basis. Thank you for those comments and support. Any ad additional comments? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Please refer to your meeting code. Alder Decker? There didn't go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Nine eyes. That's a Items 37 and 38 will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee meeting. Item number 39 will lay over. Items 40 and 41 additionally will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee meeting. Next is item number 42, RC number 2592122 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 1532122 by older persons Mitchell and Flicky Pineski awarding the sale of $2,215,000 in general obligation promissory notes, series 2022A. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Is there a second? Second. There's been a motion and second. Any discussion? I know we have David here from Ehlers. Um, so if folks have any questions regarding Alder, uh, Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to amend resolution number 153 of 2122 to one, decrease the amount of the bonds to be issued from $2,215,000 to $2,195,000, which includes updating the amount identified in the resolution title, section 1A and section 2 and two, to incorporate the exhibits provided by Wisconsin Public Finance Professionals based on the bids received today. Second. There's been a motion to amend and a second. Any discussion on the amendment? Seeing uh, Alder flicky is this a comment on the amendment itself? Yes, it is. All right. Um, I am assuming that this was amended because when the bonding went out to the public, it came in the interest rate came in below. Do I hit us? Oh, you're on. Yep. Oh, my. Okay. So the result of today's uh, uh, bond sale is because the issuance cost came in a little bit lower, um, we were able to downsize the issue by 20000 So if you look at pay, let's see, well, he didn't page number it. So the report that uh, uh, City Administrator Wolf passed out there's a page that has like a yellow column in it. Mm -hmm. Usually I page number, so I apologize. I should have done it myself. Uh, anyways, so there's a comparison between what we presented to you uh, last month and what the actual amounts came in. Uh, so basically, 
well, the issuance costs are pretty much the same. What actually came in uh, a little bit better is the underwriter actually had a premium on the bonds, and that's a way that they use to, to uh, make it more appealing to the investor. Right. So there was some money that they gave the city to pay their interest for the first couple of years, and then there was a, a, a remaining amount that could be used to downsize the issue. So the difference between the reoffering premium and the amount that has to be deposited debt service is what downsized the issue. Okay. Thank you. Any other comments on the amendments? Administrator Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to thank uh, David and, um, and Phil from Ailers. They did a great job. They're uh, new for the city of, uh, for the city, and they've been working with us on our uh, five-year fiscal planning. And this is the first uh, first year in many that they actually uh, took care of the general obligation promissory note process. And as you can see, we did save some money. This is the first year where the city actually borrowed significantly less. And if you recall back in 2021, I had proposed that we would be looking at a five-year reduction in some of our borrowing and the use of general funds. So this is, again, the beginning. We do have some big projects for the future, so we'll have to see how that all works in. But um, David is here to answer any questions that the council uh, may have in this borrowing. So thank you. All right. Any other comments on the the amendment? Alder Savalia, oh, no. finance director. I would just ask that the amendment be adjusted. Um, number two stated Wisconsin public finance professionals, but should be Ailers. Can that be a friendly amendment? The people who made the amendment in the second could just declare that a, set, a friendly amendment. Yes. I would consider that a friendly amendment. All yes. right. The motioner and seconder has accepted that as a friendly amendment. Thank you, Finance Director. Additional comments on the amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the amendment, please state aye. 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 Any objection to the amendment? Seeing none, now back to the main motion as amended. Alder Savalio. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I would love to ask a question of uh, our bond, bond council here on where they think bonds are going to be going in the future. Are we, in a, are we going to be at 6%, 8%? Yeah. Moving forward. Well, I'm not a bond council because I'll oh. never be an attorney in my life, but uh, we're your <laughs> municipal advisor. Uh, it's kind of hard to say because... Uh, if you look at the graph that we kind of uh, we put at the end of the report, um, we've been kind of creeping up a little bit. Uh, the last page, we've been kind of creeping up, but uh, we got a report at the beginning of uh, of the day that showed that the rates actually are are down a little bit this week. So it'll be interesting to see how your rates came compared to last week. Um, you know, I, I've been kind of paying attention to what it's been doing since the beginning of the year, and and we're going up about eight points every week. Uh, which you know, we don't want to see that, but uh, I think some of the geopolitical uh, issues are kind of affecting what's going on, and uh, hopefully the Fed, uh, with some of its interest rates increases, doesn't uh, keep uh, the rates for the bond market going up as well, but there is a little bit of a correlation with what they're doing as well. So um, we're hoping that they'll stabilize. It seems like uh, our, our bond sale department kind of felt that we're starting to get a little bit more footing in the market and and uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit of stabilization as far as the municipal bond rates. So, so as a follow-up here, no predictions on where we're going to be next year? You know, I wish I had a crystal ball because, you know, it, it'd been nice to get a start a little bit earlier and save you a couple points. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, I think, you know, the last couple of years, January and February, has been a little unstable. And, and as you know, two years ago, February, or three years ago, February, we kind of had a real big zigzag because of some uh, pesky virus. But uh, it seems like people were a little queasy in the beginning of the year. But this one didn't seem like it, it has really stabilized until uh, just recently. And hopefully that continues to slow down so we don't have those rates jumping. We're still in a pretty good interest rate market, though. So, Thank you so much. Yep. Um, old Administrator Wolf. Hang on, I got too many on here. Thank you, Mayor. I just wanted to make sure that the council uh, knew this, but uh, during our Moody's call, we did maintain our AA2, so that's the, the highest level that we can achieve. 
So again, congratulations to everybody for the hard work and uh, we'll keep doing the best we can. Thank you. Thank you, Administrator Wolf. Alder Perella. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to understand the, basically the, we are lending, um, sorry, yes, we are lending about two million and plus, and then in five years, we will pay 2,578,000. So what is that we are going to pay back in the end? What's, what is that we are going to pay people in the end? So once again, I wish I had a page number, but there's a schedule that has kind of a pink section to it. Um, you borrowed $2,195,000, which we will pay over 10 years to basically a paying agent that will distribute the the uh, money to the investors that had bought your bonds. And as a part of that, we have an interest rate, uh, the coupon is at 3%, but because of the, the uh, uh, premium that you received, the yields, you'll see the yields actually on the page where it has the bidders listed, uh, where it goes from 1.3% yield up to 2.25. Uh, like I said, the, the uh, premium is a way that the underwriter allows, uh, gets the, the bonds to look better, so you can see the coupon to the investor is 3%. Based on that, you're paying, uh, in, you know, when you actually make the payments, you'll make $383,600 of interest payments, but those are being offset by about $80,000 of premium. So your, your net expenses for that is about uh, $238,000 or... $238,000. Yeah. So, and that would be in 10 years? Yeah, that's over 10 years. We're using notes for this, which is a 10-year maximum on notes. Um, if we were ever to need something where we have a bigger issue, we might go out 20 years. Uh, it kind of depends on, I think that's one of the things we're going to try to show you in the future when you start having bigger projects is, is there a reason that we would go out longer? But this, this one is paid over 10 years. So people will, we will not need to pay back before then. It's not staggered, it's all together. We, we make a payment each year of principal and interest until that 10th year. Oh, so, okay. so if you look at it, each, each year in the schedule is how much we pay. I see, yeah, I, I, I apologize. I didn't have time to look at this, so I, I understand now that. Yeah. Okay. And the reason that it's set up the way it is, and if you look at the column that's like second from, well, that's, the, that's after a little bit more growth, but probably five from the right, there's the tax rate. And one thing that we're, we're helping the city implement is a way to stabilize the tax rate. When we come back in May to present the five-year plan, you'll see that we've kind of structured around that rate to start with. Um, what we're trying to do is make sure that the taxpayer doesn't have any realization of a, a, a increase and a bounce because of your debt, of your capital projects. So what we'll show you is that that dollar thirty-six that we're showing in here is where we're going to stabilize, um, unless for some reason your growth allows us to bring that down a little bit more. But we want to make sure that the debt and the capital projects aren't the reason that you're having increase in your taxes. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Any additional questions for the, the motion as amended? Anyone else? All right. Seeing no one else queued up, will the clerk please call the roll? Okay, I have to call this. Um, Alder Decker? Uh, aye. Alder Feldy? Aye. Alder Felicki Paneski? Aye. Alder Laster? Aye. Alder Mitchell? Aye. Alder Perella? Alder Salazar? Aye. Alder Savaglio? Aye. Alder Walton? Aye. Nine eyes. All right, that item is approved. Thank you. Uh, item 43, RC number 244-2122 by the Public Works Committee, to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 167-2122 by Elder Persons Decker and Prella, authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Moss and Associate LLC for real estate con consulting services for the Southside Interceptor System Shoreline Infrastructure Protection and Assessment Project. Elder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I make a motion to adopt the resolution. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion on this item? Alder Flicky-Paneski. 
lots of questions this evening. Is this the, the sewer on the south side that is exposed because of the, of the, the lake action, et cetera? Or is this something different? City engineer? Yes, that's, yeah, it's a sanitary sewer along Lakeshore Drive down, down at the bottom of the bluff. Okay. It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's the one you're thinking of. Great, thank you. Thank you. Additional comments on this item? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Please refer to your muni code. Nine eyes. And it is approved. Next is general ordinances, city attorney, or excuse me, other matters authorized by law. So number 44 is an RO, number 136-2122 by the city clerk submitting various license applications. And that will be referred to the LHPS committee. And number 45 is a resolution, number 171-2122 by all the persons Mitchell and Felicki Paneski authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an engagement letter with Corals and Brady LLP to serve as disclosure counsel with regard to general obligation promissory notes. That will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. Seeing that we've exhausted the agenda, Alder Feldy, what is your motion? I move to adjourn. Second. There's been a motion in second. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? We are adjourned at 626. Thanks, everyone. <coughs>